happy, Isaac? You like hiking? Isaac is absolutely incredible. He is a child that is an absolute warrior. He will go through some of the most difficult times, yet he'll still smile. He can light up a room when his smile comes out. He definitely has taught me so much about being joyful and loving. Really, he has the sweetest disposition of anybody I've ever met and um, a very strong will, which we now know you need to be able to go through life like this. Yes, yes. You want to tell us something? Walk. 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 You'd like to go for a walk. Okay, we'll take you for a walk. Now, As now. always, go, go, go. Everything was normal until all of a sudden it wasn't. The doctor realized something is very wrong. His neck was, was not quite right, and um, there was low fetal movement. So they told me, we're, we're gonna be having this baby. You should contact your spouse. He was able to come and meet us just in the nick of time, get a gown on here at Wolfson's Children's Hospital, and um, that was Isaac's entrance to the world. If it wasn't for the Navy being flexible, when Isaac was born, I was a first class petty officer, and my chief, I literally looked at him and I said, I don't know what I'm going to do. And he said, stop, take care of Beth, take care of your family, family first. Isaac is undiagnosed. We don't know the underlying neurological genetic condition. He's had every genetic test, everything comes back normal. We have a whole list of diagnoses, but none of them really explain exactly who Isaac is. We've really latched on to our new medical family, like the therapists and the doctors and the specialists. The nurses are someone that I can rely on. My name is Christy. I'm a registered nurse at Wolfson Children's Hospital. Ever since I was young, I knew I wanted to work in peds. I love kids with my whole heart. And I knew that every day if I came in and I was taking care of little kids, that it would make me happy. We first met Christy a couple years back. She was someone that we were really glad to, to see as a, one of Isaac's nurses. One challenge that I ran into while treating Isaac is the fact that he is nonverbal and not able to advocate for himself. I took care of him post-op, so it was very important for me to know, is he comfortable, is he in pain? It's so important to gain trust with kids and their families because you're not only caring for the kids, but also their families. Hospitals are the last place a child wants to be. So when they are here, it's so important for us to make them feel safe. Toys, games, bubbles, movies, like all the things that we have to offer, I think are so important to make them feel comfortable and safe while they're here until we get to send them home. I'm Ellen McAndrews Guth. I'm a pediatric nurse practitioner. I provide primary care for children with medical complexities. We are really blessed to have a medically complex clinic in our city, and so Ellen is our primary pediatrician who specializes in medically complex cases. She's way more than just a doctor to us. She helps coordinate all of Isaac's care. I met Isaac first in our office. One of the really special things about Isaac and his multiple medical conditions is that we've been able to work with other partners at other children's hospitals for his care. He has seen specialists or I or members of his team have worked with specialists you know out of Orlando, out of Miami, out of Texas, out of Boston. We're able to collaborate on his care in order to provide him the best quality of life that we can. Enter someone called a, a child life specialist. We had no idea what that position was. My name is Taylor Endicott, and I am a child life specialist at Wolfson Children's Hospital. They really come and they are the bridge between the medical professionals and then almost like child play. Coming in to a hospital is very overwhelming. My biggest role is to help bring that calm and that positivity. Oh, Isaac likes this toy. Let me go get this. And uh, do you have your tablet, Mom? Because if not, I have a tablet I'll bring out for him. And there's all sorts of really cool um, inclusions that they'll think of. And they're looked upon by doctors as like medically necessary. It's just another great resource having child life specialist music therapy and social work in the children's hospital versus adults where we don't get that component. As soon as we came here, we see it everywhere, all over the walls. We see this is designed for the children, so it took away the feeling of being scared. When you see a child who isn't feeling good and then you discharge them and they're so happy to go home and they're running around, like that just brings me joy. He is going to school now and he loves, he loves going to school and uh, riding the bus is one of his favorite things too. 
I don't know if everybody can do it, but I think the people that work in children's hospital are meant to be working in children's hospitals.